Hey, welcome back everyone. My name is Sushant Satish and I am your instructor for this MS700 Teams Administrator Associate Examination course. In this lesson, we're going to learn about how to create and manage DLP policies. Many organizations today are concerned with protection of sensitive information and be compliant with their internal business standards. When we mention sensitive data, we mean the information which can include financial data or personally or PII or personally identifiable information such as credit card numbers, social security numbers and health records. With data loss prevention policies, organizations can identify, monitor and automatically protect sensitive information across the Office 365 environment, including Microsoft Teams. So some of the benefits of DLP is listed down over here. So for most organizations which have the DLP for Teams license, policies can be configured that prevent people from sharing sensitive information in a Microsoft Teams channel or chat session. With these policies, the admin can protect sensitive information in messages, sensitive information in documents as well. So when you create and apply the DLP policy, there is an action taken in Microsoft Teams which conflicts with that policy. The user will get policy tip as shown in this particular image. So let's go and see where you can create a DLP policy for Teams. I'm on my Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Go to Compliance Center. Right under Solutions, you can find Data Loss Prevention. So within Data Loss Prevention, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new policy. So we can either pick an existing policy for financial, medical health, privacy, custom, etc. So I'm going to go with a custom policy. Click next. I'm going to leave it as custom policy. Here you go. You can see that this cuts across multiple Microsoft 365 solutions, including Exchange, SharePoint, OneDrive, devices, etc. And you can turn on for Teams chat and channel messages as well. This is where you can review and create and customize and advise DLP rules. And to create a new rule, give a name for the rule. As you can see, there are conditions, exceptions, actions, user notification. So you would be able to go through each of this based on your requirement. I can add Australia passport passport number as a condition. If you would like to accept anything, you would be able to add that over here. What sort of an action do you want to perform? Would you like to restrict access or do you want to get notification on audit or restrict activities on Windows devices? So if you would like to audit and restrict access, this is where you can modify these in detail. You can further go ahead, go ahead and add more conditions as well. If you like to use notifications to inform users, so you can help them educate them on proper use of sensitive info. This is where you can configure that. How, do, how would you like to notify them? Email or policy tips? You can mention the policy, you can mention the policy tip over here. Then we have overrides and some additional options like priority, etc. Once you create your policy, click next. And you have options to test it, which shows the policy tip in the test mode. Or you can turn on right away or keep it off and turn on later. So click next and submit. This is how you would create a DLP policy for Microsoft Teams. Please note that DLP policies can contain Teams and non-Teams location at the same time. In the next video, we're going to talk about how to create and manage e-discovery case. So we'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care.